Hey guys, I just got back to my hotel room from attending one of the coolest things I've ever been around or seen. Uh, every year the AHR Expo takes place and it's the largest heating and air conference show, whatever you want to call it, exposition is what they call it. It's the largest that, I believe it's the largest in the world. It's huge. There's international companies there. And then of course there's all the heating and air brands and products that we've all seen around, but they put them all under one roof. And I guess technically it was three roofs because it was like these gigantic warehouses type deal. And it was all under those three roofs. You know, they were kind of connected. But I wanna do a video on it because it's something that I had never even seen before. I had friends that had told me about it. Uh, one of my friends told me he had been to it before and he said, look, you better plan your trip. You better plan what you wanna see, plan where you wanna go when you're there because if you don't, it's so big that you're gonna miss some stuff. And it's also so big that they have their own app uh, that you can use to go through the different things going on. I'm gonna just kinda of go through them real quickly on this video or well, a few of the things that we see here at the expo and why maybe that is important to someone that is in the market for a heating and air system. And so it stands for International Air Conditioning, Heating, Refrigeration, Exposition. And again, this place was so huge. Uh, I don't even think I saw each and every booth and I walked around in there for a good while. This year it took place here in Atlanta, Georgia. And I think next year it's gonna be back in Chicago. And so every, like I say, everybody's there. All the main manufacturers are there some of the manufacturers that are not so main, if you will, different companies that make products in the industry. I saw companies there that, you know, right down to the little fittings that get put into a heat pump system, that company was there. There was like a whole row, I think it was like three rows, that if you walk down, you would see all the different softwares, companies that offer software to either contractors or other heating and air type organizations. I just thought it was crazy. I'm just gonna talk real quick about three things that I saw there that you might be interested in if you are a homeowner looking to buy a heating and air system. The first thing I saw there is new products. So not only are all these companies there, not only are the main brands and manufacturers and of course all these other folks that are in the heating and air industry, not only are they there, but they are at times introducing new products to the market that they never have. I can tell you that I laid hands on a thermostat that they haven't even put on production yet. He said they're hoping to roll it out by next year. I also got to lay hands on a heat pump that Amana is coming out with. I actually don't know if they've hit the market yet. It's basically gonna be very similar to the Daikin Fit. It's a side discharge heat pump system, high efficiency. Uh, the thermostat that controls it, the communicating thermostat is a little different from the Daikin One Plus or the Daikin One Touch. But it just goes to show that, you know, again, they're coming out with new products. I didn't even go through each and every booth, but everybody was rolling things out, showing things that they're gonna be adding to the industry soon. And sometimes having it here at HR will sometimes give them a little bit of a snapshot of what people are thinking, maybe get a little feedback on that. The next thing that they had there was education. They had different folks doing different types of presentations, different folks doing different types of classes. In some cases, they were also introducing new things to the market, but in some cases, it's something that is already being offered in one way, shape, or form, and they're trying to get you know more training or education, more presentation out there on what maybe their product is, the capability of it, and so on. So I thought that was interesting. They actually have an entire schedule uh, and these different conference rooms that you can go and watch these classes or presentations. And some of them are quite interesting. Unfortunately, I didn't get to attend, but so many, I'm only here for the day. Uh, the AHR Expo takes, uh, it's really almost a week. I mean, I think some of these folks are here for at least five days. They start on Saturday and then, you know, Saturday, Sunday. And then of course the actual Expo itself is Monday through Wednesday. Uh, but some of these folks will be here for a week total. And that leads me into, aside from the products and the education, the next big thing that a lot of folks are here to do, and that is network or make connections. What was crazy is, you know, I made a few connections. I was talking to a few folks about, I'd like to be able to roll out things to you guys when I'm making these videos better. I'd like if something new is hitting the market, maybe even give some of these companies a chance to get on their soapbox and talk to you guys, the consumer, and tell you why they're introducing something to the market, maybe why you should consider their product for your home. And so I was doing a little bit of that, but what was cool is I could see other folks doing that too. I could even, I, I had lunch by myself when I got back here to the hotel, but there were a bunch of people there. You could tell they were here for the AHR Expo 
and they were having lunch and talking about things and trying to make things better or roll out new things to the market. I just thought that was interesting. I didn't get a lot of footage of the show itself. They have some restrictions on what you're allowed to record. And so I did record a couple things that I had permission to record. I asked for permission from a few of the folks that are were showing things there. And I'm gonna be doing videos on some of those things here coming up. But they have rules in place that you just can't simply walk down the middle of the expo with a camera out. I, I don't really know why. I can only assume that maybe someone abused that. They were recording things they maybe shouldn't have, maybe stealing trade secrets, I don't know. I did hear from one of the main manufacturers that some of their competitors were coming over with cameras and recording or taking pictures of some of their equipment, which is uh, absolutely crazy to me. I mean, I guess that stuff happens. Anyway, I had a good time. I just want to do a quick video on it. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to go next year, but I probably will. It was a good time and I learned a whole lot and also made some connections. It's not really something for homeowners. I'm not even sure homeowners have access to get into it since there's a lot of stuff that is you know, wholesale marketing and B2B type sales. But it wasn't that hard for me to get in. I, you know, I just told him I'm a contractor and I was able to get in. So there is a registration involved. You have to get a pass to get in. And I don't even know if there's many homeowners out there that would even care to want to go. But maybe you're one of those folks that just, <laughs> you kind of want to know everything, right? Have you ever been to the HR Expo or have any questions about it? Please comment down below. Smash that like button. That helps so much. And of course, Thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.